Teach me how to shine, shine. Teach me so I know what's going on in your mind. Cause I don't understand these people. Say in the hills to steeple. We'll talk and talk forever. But they'll never just climb. Teach me how to star, star. Teach me how to shine, shine. Teach me so I know what's going on in your mind. Cause I don't understand these people. Saying we're all asleep well. They'll toss and turn forever. requested uh, by a friend of mine who wishes to remain anonymous. He told me to sing it as if I was walking on a bridge at four o'clock in the morning after a night out. That's a direct quote, so I hope I did that. I tried to make my voice as low and husky as possible, and with that particular song, it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> anyway, I've had a really busy weekend. And I want to show you what I did. I took lots of video. A friend's mother is in Japan on business and she swung by Tokyo to see some sights. So I got to be a tourist for the weekend, which was really cool. Now, the first place I took her was called Saksa. And this is a little piece of Tokyo that really feels old school. It's also a really popular place for foreigners to check out. And Saksa is well known for its thunder gates called Kaminarimon. And this leads to a very long street that's filled with shops that sell Japanese souvenirs. Now in Australia we have like the clip-on koalas and memorabilia like that. So imagine a street that just sells stuff like that, only better. Now this eventually leads to a temple called Sensoji and people go there to pray for their daily departed and we went there and paid our respects. So the next day we took a special train called a romance car to Hakone. Hakone was absolutely beautiful. Um, it's outside of Tokyo and we bought special free passes that allowed us to travel on many modes of transport to fully experience the beauty of Hakone for the day. We started by taking a bumpy bus to the first destination and we went for a walk in a cedar forest that was over 300 years old and it was absolutely gorgeous walking through. It really felt like you were going back in time or something. Everything was just really green and covered in moss and it was just gorgeous. We then went through a path that eventually led to the sea pond where there was giant fish. They were huge. I'm not sure what kind of fish they were but I wouldn't want to go swimming with them personally. We then took a pirate ship over a massive lake. I'm not kidding. It was a ferry that was in the shape of a pirate ship and it was awesome. We were able to see the top of Mount Fuji very briefly but the clouds covered it quickly. And this guy was dressed up as a pirate with a DSLR camera around his neck. After that we took quite a few cable cars uh, up to a volcano. Now during the we were able to get a bird's eye view of Hakone and it was amazing. It's completely different from Tokyo in every way. It's just nature. It's nature, pure and simple. And I mean, if they have forests there that date back 300 years, they've obviously managed to create their modern day life in harmony with nature rather than just destroying it all for their own purposes. 
Anyway, here's the volcano. And then we got close up. And there were natural springs up there, obviously. Um, Hakuna is really well known for its hot spring resorts. We didn't stay at one, but I wouldn't mind going back, actually. And black eggs were a common delicacy. Apparently they boil their eggs in the natural hot springs and the minerals in the springs turn the shell, the eggshells black. I didn't try one, but I could smell it over the sulfur. And let me tell you, that was a really strong smell. Not bad, because it wasn't like rotten eggs. It was just strong. And then we took another, it was more like a cable train, I guess, back down to the original starting point. And then we took the romance car, which wasn't actually that romantic, back to Tokyo. And that was the end of our big day. So I saw a forest, a lake, and a volcano all in one day. We also saw this guy making a puppet play a violin at Shinjuku Station. All in all, it was a super packed weekend and I slept very well once it was over. It's nice though that I can still be surprised by a country I've been to half a dozen times. I really enjoyed having a visitor as well. If all my visitors were like her, then I would gladly have everyone over. Anyway, until next week, what the?